All right, we have no heater or air. So let's see here. It's got this. Yeah, wow, well, nothing. I hear something happening back there, so let's give it a tap test. get this cleaned up. Okay, um, let's see here. Probably pinch the side and pull it out. There you go, look at that. Get that blower motor out. Back there just pushes in. I'm a little confused on what goes on on this side. Nothing. We just push clips. All right, get that out of there. There's your blower motor. And yeah, just Phillips head screws. But before we go any further than this, we're gonna make sure. So the reason I couldn't get the connector out is it's uh, completely fried and melted. Yay. Um, but everything is good, the relay's good. So um, it is turning on the new blower motor. So we're gonna have to get a new wire connector so we can uh, replace this one. So I have an idea. So this wire will fit into here, into this side of the blower motor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get under, underneath here. And there's a little push clip in here. I'm gonna give me just some more room. I'll film what I can for you guys. Just, I, there's no space underneath here. None at all. So, I'm trying to break something. Wow. Oh my. All right. So now that this is down and free. I'm gonna cut off this end, and we're gonna put a new end on. That's the idea. Got a big old package of heat shrink. Should have everything. Let's get started. Let's get some of this carpet fabric. Let's get this up and out of the way. stuff it's got like adhesive on the back of it this thing is like the works all right all right actually before we go any further what I'm going to determine is I'm going to determine which ones yeah I can see if I line these two up like this they're different so I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and determine which one's the hot and which one's the the control I'm not a wiring guy. You would assume red's hot, but you just don't know. Oh, now the power's gone. Let's get rid of these two.
guess we'll leave this one kind of long just in case I have to make some more make some more cuts. I didn't film the soldering because I don't want to get made fun of by you guys because I'm not the best, but I get the job done. These ain't coming apart, trust me. And plus, I get to add the heat shrink just as a yeah, nice and tight fit. Now, let's bring up the new blower motor. Oh, wrong way, backwards. Get rid of the old one. There's just be some Phillips head screws underneath. Alright, so take this and put that back in the push pen. I take this and line them up with those two pegs back there. One right there, one right here. And then I'm gonna need two hands and you just push them up. That's that. Last but not least, add yourself a brand new cabin air filter, which was more than likely the cause of all that. Anyways, I had to blow out a lot of debris. So yeah, before you before you try to stall anything else, yeah, get all the debris out. Oh, I had it in the right way the first time. Anyways, yeah, we'll add that and that's it. Alright, put that door back on, slash that, refill all their junk, and that's it. Um, so yeah, look at that, it was toast. So yeah, they were obviously touching each other and just, I don't know, shorting each other out. I don't know, I'm not, again, I don't do electric, but... Uh, now let's see if we got a pretty good Oh yeah, I got good flow now Beautiful That's what it is. All right good. Hope the video helped. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up subscribe. See you next time